Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to rank up some champions. Now in this video, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. Um, first, I'm gonna show you champions that I have ascended. I ascended two five stars so far, and I'm gonna show you those. And then we're gonna do some rank ups live. I got a rank four that I'm gonna take up, and I got, I think, two um, to rank three that I'm gonna take up. All right, so first off, uh, if you don't know, we have a system of feature that has entered the contest called Ascension. It is new, and what it does is it gives your champions more power, even when they're maxed out, okay? So uh, a maxed out five star is going to be roughly the equivalent of a six star rank two, I think, two or so. And so there's a lot of discussion on who should be taken up. And my first two, I put some thought into it. All right. Now, the first one is Jessica Jones. Now, I don't have a six-star Jessica Jones. She is a trophy champion. There's no telling when I'm going to get a six-star Jessica Jones. But the five-star can be used even now, especially ascended, in battlegrounds for defense. So for me, that's a prime candidate for ascension. I will be able to use her in battlegrounds and. Hopefully she will work. I remember fighting against her in Battlegrounds. It was not fun. So definitely had to ascend her. All right. Now, the next one that I ascend is Hercules. Now, this one takes a little bit more uh, discussion because I already have a six-star rank five Hercules. So why am I taking the five-star that's because I use Hercules a lot. I use him in AQ, and then I want to use him in the event quest, and possibly in Alliance War, maybe. But he's always stuck somewhere, okay? Now, the five-star ascended will be hitting and as good as a six-star. So now... I can use the five star in AQ, six star in war or um, event quest or vice versa. So that is why I decided to do that. So I still have Hercules that I can use while using him in AQ. So definitely for me anyway. Now I can take up a third five star, but. I don't know who I want to do. I really don't. Um, I've heard people, you know, of course, Quake and Magic, but I don't use them. And if I ascend them, I'm still not going to use them. The reason that I don't use them has nothing to do with their power level. So, yeah, they're not uh, coming in as six stars and probably not seven stars, but that's not why I didn't use them. I didn't use them when all we had were five stars. I didn't take up my magic until recently, just cause it was a magic, um, a mystic advancement on. And I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and take her up. But I still don't use her, okay? So unlikely for me to ascend either of those two. Then I was thinking maybe one of the trophy champions. But they would have to be a champion I could use. So if I get a Wolverine Weapon X, he will get ascended ASAP. So for now, I'm not going to uh, take up another uh, five star that way. Okay, now for the next portion, we are going to do it live. All right, as you can see, we have a level up 
and Tech Arena battle. And it's already closing in on, what is it, 9.30, my time. So that means that if I were to try and wait for an advancement, which really it'll only give me a tier four class catalyst selector. That's all that is for me. And I do like to get them, but I need to level up some champions and not miss out because I've been waking up later and staying up later. So I need to get this done. So let's get it done. Now, I'm going to show you, let's see, the first one that I am going to take up is going to be Viv Vision. Just got her in the arena. Uh, let me see. Should I... Let's, uh, like I said, I'm doing it live. So a lot of this stuff I would normally do, uh, behind the scenes. Let's get rid of those three. Let's get rid of those. Let's get rid of those. Okay. And grab some tech. Okay. Should have enough tech. No problem. Hey, another ticket. Okay. And you can see I don't have an Iron Man yet. But one day I'll get him. I wasn't too worried about him before, but now that they reworked him, he's actually pretty good. Anyway, uh, Viv Vision... I don't know too much about her, but I do like um, what I've seen so far. You know, I like her animations. I like that she seems to have a little bit of power control. And I've fought her. And she is annoying on the right nodes. She is really annoying on the right nodes. I just finished fighting her on a node that made the fight, oh my goodness, it was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. Oh man. But that's all good. I might even take her to rank four um, at some point in time, but I don't have any plans to do that just, just yet. But, oh man, let's go right here and let me tell y'all something i i got a, a story to tell you guys um and i'll i'll tell you more later on but my sister um was having some problems with her computer monitor was not it, it stopped working now it's been working all this time but then it stopped working and and she was like i tried to play a game and it wouldn't let me and it it gave me an error saying you know some settings and set the setting to like 16 basically to change the resolution and she was like and she didn't know how to do that and i was like that seems odd you know but whatever and so i was like all right i'll come look at it so i'm troubleshooting it i'm looking around and i'm trying to change the settings uh, on the monitor itself and it wasn't letting me and I'm like this is weird and then so I you know of course you know I asked her did you turn it off and on but again but she had and I did the same and I noticed it wasn't even posting if you guys know what posting is and I'm like I'm not even seeing the post information you know I'm trying to go into the bios and all that stuff I don't see anything and I'm like what is going on all we're getting is that error message. And I'm like, you're not even getting to your your windows. It's it this is what's going on. What's what's your computer doing, you know? And so I was like, okay. Um 
I said, and then I, I said, you know what? Why don't I try to unplug the monitor? So I unplugged the, not, not the power, but the cable, the VGA. She had it, um, a VGA uh, cable. So unplugged the VGA cable. And then, here we go. Woo! Rank three. Uh, and then I plugged it back in, you know, thinking maybe it just needed a reset or something. And we had already turned the monitor off and on and all that good stuff. And it still did the same thing. Okay. So I was like, all right, next thing to do, try unplugging it from the computer itself. And I went to unplug it. And I looked. And I saw something odd. Something that I know I would not have done. And I stared at it. And I just kept looking at her. And she's like, what? What did you see? And I looked at it and I unplugged the VGA cable from her onboard graphics and plugged it into her graphics card and just stared at her. And she was like, no, don't tell me it's been plugged into the wrong thing all this time came up like a beauty and looked better. She was like, oh my goodness, even looks better. I was like, really? Because she's the one that plugged that in. I would not have done that at all. So then I was like, and you have it on VGA. I said, don't you have an HDMI cable? She said, what's HDMI? So I go into my electronics drawer and I have two HDMI cables um, because I actually got a DVI because if I remember correctly, this particular um, computer, the graphics card I think didn't support, was it? No, no, no. Yeah, no, the graphics card, it didn't support two HDMI. It did HDMI and DVI. And so I had to do that. So that meant that my old HDMI cable, I had to get a new uh, DVI cable, which is a better um, connection anyway. So I, I got that out and I was like, let's see. Because I while I was looking back there, I saw that her monitor supported HDMI and her graphics card supported HDMI. So it would definitely support uh, whatever uh, game she was trying to play. So she's now hooked up with the HDMI cable and it is looking crisp and good. I tell you. Okay, so that is our Viv Vision. Let's take a look at her. I don't know why, but those sneakers are just a nice touch. A robot wearing sneakers. Or is she considered a robot? I mean, she's a very intelligent one, but, you know. I don't know. Anyway, just look at this, man. All right, so. That is the first uh, to rank three. The next one to rank three. is going to be Sauron. Now, if you guys watched my last uh, video, let me see, do we still have, okay, good. I'll just use these up, make space. If you watched my last video, you know that um let's see how many do i have oh yeah plenty that i just got him so yeah he's going up he's not quite as bad of a defender these days but i still like him i still think he's pretty cool 
So I was definitely going to take him up. He, once you learn how to evade his special one and you watch for that unblockable, he's not that bad. He really isn't. But if you don't know how to evade that special one and it's unblockable, he wrecks you. Absolutely wrecks you. All right. Let's see. There we go. Claim it, claim it, claim it. And I don't know if I'll take him to rank four. I'm not sure yet. The other thing, uh, reason I take champs to rank three, um, for arena purposes, unless I am hardcore grinding for somebody, I do not use any champions below rank three. So if I take a champ to rank three, that means I'm going to use them in my arena grind. So rank three champs will help the uh, grind. If they're a champion that's not really that good or really, really slow or something like that, they may have a use in uh, battlegrounds. And I might take them up because of that. You know, like Korg. You know, he wouldn't be what I consider a really fast, fast uh, killer, you know? But he's great, you know, in Battlegrounds. So, gotta do it. All right, so we need, and the Alphas don't, let me see. The Catalyst, if I remember correctly, don't auto load. Oh, I haven't used those. Oh, I don't have any more. All right, how many did I need? Because I'll just grab some right now. Let's see. I need uh, six. Oh, boy. This should be interesting. I. Yeah, no, no, no. We, we were fine. We're fine. Uh, to take a champ to rank four, I don't need any of those. So let's grab a few of those from the glory store. You can see I already grabbed those. Ooh. May as well grab them all. All right. And All right. There you go. All right. Sauron, welcome to my arena teams. Because he actually uh, goes pretty quickly. Um, especially in, in arena, he goes pretty quickly. Um, one special one is usually enough, but if they last a little bit longer, that's all right. Okay, so um, the next one after this is going to be my rank four. So let me tell you, you know, kind of what I'm thinking uh, for rank fours. Uh, one of the things is that uh, I don't really want to take up a champ that is available as a seven star, if I can help it. There are exceptions. You know, like for example, um, my OG Hulk, I took up to rank four before seven stars were even a thing, before we knew even who was gonna be in the seven star pool. But I still don't have a seven star Hulk. So I have thought about taking up my six star Hulk to rank uh, rank uh, five. Haven't done it yet. 
Uh, let me see. 5,000. Oh, okay. Let's grab you. There we go. Nicely done. Okay, let's see. So his awakened ability, I don't know why I keep looking down at the uh, iPad when I can look over here. Um, let's see, after the start of the fight, if the opponent attempts to inflict a bleed or incinerate while a D-gem passive is active and fleet, okay. Um, increase personal prowess. All right, so it's just a little bit more. So it doesn't look like he needs to be even awakened. He's immune to power steal, poison, well, I knew poison, but power steel, I didn't know that. Cannot be decreased. Okay. And he takes 95% less damage <clears throat> from bleed. So, as you know, I run the Ouchie Mastery. So, great. That works. And with the um, uh, Mastery for... Um, ooh. He probably won't take any damage from that bleed. This might be interesting. All right, anyway, I'm a, I might have to play around with him a little bit. Look at that, look at that, look at that. All right, so you guys get to see that. Okay, now, for the finale. Who do you guys think I am going to take up? You can try to guess. Rank four. Who will be my next rank four? I'll tell you this. It's not a mutant. It's not a tech champion. It's not a mystic. In fact... It's a science champion. And it is my boy Thing. Now, let me see. What did I run out of? Okay, T5 Basics. I was going to say, I was like, I know I had enough, but, you know, running those, let's grab, um, grab from the uh, store again. Good old glory. Glory store. Did I grab too many of them already? Nope. Okay. So let's grab a couple. But yeah, buddy. Now, my thing is already SIG 200. Let's do it. Do I need to tell you guys? why I'm taking thing up. And by the way, the hint was how many science I had in there because I was prepping. And I was like, wait a minute. I want to do this one live. And I don't want to do the rank four first. But I could have. I could have done the video, recorded it, and then just, you know, in editing, swapped it around. But I decided not to. But yes, thing is already sig 200 and he is a beast of a defender for battlegrounds he is always annoying unless they have a, a proper counter and he's probably going to get banned if they see a rank four but i also don't see him yet anyway up there in the uh seven stars i could be wrong um, he's not just a defensive champion. Some of you guys that might have uh, watched me play some Battlegrounds, I actually used him against a Nick Fury. And I won the uh, match. He is not that bad of an attacker if you know how to use him. But here we go. Sig 200. Rank 4. Let's see. Ooh, that's a lot of hell. And attack. Look at that. Nasty. 
Now, let me check something real quick. Okay, no, no, no. I wanted to see my, my prestige went up because I um, increased, I mean, uh, ranked up a relic. And I was curious to see if a uh, thing made it into, you know, my top five or four, May even five, but it doesn't look like he did, which is perfectly okay. All right. Well, um, well, 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 I think, oh yeah, let's look real quick, see what it looks like uh, for the level up. There it is. That's where I ended with the level up. All right, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.